It's crazy to think that even with all of the great events we've had so far this year in Summoner's War, we are only 30% of the way done with the Summoner's War 10 year anniversary festival. And you know, I love to crap on comp to us every chance I get, but we've had some really good events so far this year. We have the, uh, the Nat 5 Summit event. You get to choose one of 10 Nat 5s to summon. Of course, they're all going to be dupes, but at least you get to choose the right dupe that you want. We have the Witcher collab, which was crazy and kind of unexpected. It's, it's not the outside of the realm of possibility to get a collab, just was not expecting the Witcher. We also have this 10-year Hall of Heroes event, which I know a lot of people kind of push back on when I said it was one of the best events that we've had in Summoner's War history. But if you think about it this way, there are 24 different Hall of Heroes that we're going to get over the course of this event. We get five from each Hall of Heroes, five summons. If you choose LDs, you get 120 over the course of the event, 120 LD4 summons. That is not a normal event. That's pretty ridiculous. I feel that that's very ridiculous. So, uh, really think this is a, is a great event. And these are still, I mean, some of these are still going on. Well, actually, all of these are still going on. But we're only 30% of the way done. I have no idea. I mean, I have a theory. What we're going to see at the end. But it's just a theory. There's nothing to... Uh, corroborate that this is actually going to happen, but we are 30% of the way done. We have the January, February, March ones. We have another one coming in April. We have another one coming. We have nothing in May. We have one in June. We have two in July, right? We have uh, nothing in August, September, nothing in, well, September, October, nothing in November, and then we have this mid-December one, right? So these don't necessarily represent what's actually going on in the events because there was not a Witcher unit for the second one. And I don't think there was a Hall, there wasn't a Hall of Heroes unit for uh, for this one, was there? I would have to go back and, and double check because there is a Nat 4 over here. So these are not all Nat 5s, but I really, I have no idea what they're, what they're gonna pull out in the rest of these. I really don't, they, they seem pretty crazy. This last one, I have high hopes. I, I'm probably gonna be wrong, probably gonna be wrong. I don't wanna jump to conclusions. However, I did see something very interesting today. Now, this is a promo video for the Summoner's War Chronicles one year anniversary event. Now, I don't play Summoner's War Chronicles. It's not a sponsored plug or anything. I just came across this promo and something struck my interest about what they're doing for the one year anniversary. So we got a bunch of stuff that I don't, Magic Tech Festival, no idea what that is. Magic Power Star, I have no idea. What, I, f I figured those are Devil Mons and Angel Mons and, uh, Whatever. Most of this stuff, I don't know what they're talking about. Safety helmets, I don't know. This is what I care about. This right here. The thing that says, five star light dark acquisition event. So they are doing an LD5 giveaway for Summoner's War Chronicles for the one year anniversary, which makes me think that maybe it's not outside the realm of possibility that we might maybe have a snowball's chance in hell for getting an LD5 from Summoner's War Sky Arena. However, I do think that there might be a stipulation and we're gonna see what the stipulation is for the Summoner's War Chronicles one. And then we're gonna see what we think it's, I would guess, possibly a similar stipulation. This is kind of a sim, uh, similar one to what they did in Epic 7, um, which I actually, I don't remember if I was even playing at the time that they did that event, but there is a guaranteed Nat 5 among six monsters. So. I gotta think, again, this is all speculation. I'm probably, I'm probably just pulling these things out of my butt and we'll probably be disappointed at the very end of the year. But I, I think this might not be outside the realm of possibility for Calm to us to decide, hey, maybe we should give the players something so we don't lose them because it's 10 years and there's been a lot of drama about people leaving the game, right? So I kind of feel like it might not be outside the realm of possibility for Calm to us to say, Here's an event, you get to choose one of these limited pool of LD5s and you can summon it. Again, this is all speculation. I'm going based on what they're already doing in Summoner's War Chronicles. So the company already has an interest in doing something like this to keep players, as well as something that uh, Smilegate or Super, what is the game? What is the developers of uh, Epic 7? It doesn't matter. They did something similar in Epic 7, a different company. But, you know, come to us sometimes takes ideas from other... Well, all these mobile games take ideas from uh, from each other for things that... That was a while ago, though. That wasn't even <laughs> that recent. But they did something similar, right? Uh, there were some limitations to 
the uh, the ML5 that they did in Epic Seven, but they do have some kind of uh, reward system for giving people LD5s or M ML5s. So I think we might actually see maybe a snowball's chance at hell. Again, there has been no indication aside from the fact that there is an LD5 on this screen for the uh, the 10 year festival. There is no other indication that this is actually going to happen. I just think it is not completely off the table. Let me know what you guys think. I know, I know I'm going to get ripped to shreds for thinking that there, there's even a chance, but I think that there might be a small chance that we get some limited pool of LD5. I guess only time will tell. So that's it. We don't have to have a crazy long video. See you as always in the next one.